today's just going to be one of those days where uh, I got to like finish weld all kinds of stuff to stiffen up the steering. Uh, I have to go back and finish weld so many things. And then when I disassemble and flip everything upside down, I have to do it again. But today I'm just going to focus on getting some stuff welded up. Uh, I, I want to get this front steering arm done. And once this thing finally steers on its own and uh, I can move it around, I can get it out of here and into the other garage or whatever I'm going to do with it. Like if I had to move it out of the way, it's probably fine in here. But uh, I'll feel like I hit a real milestone once that will complete the mock-up stage. Outside of like a few small things like the fuel cell is going to go in it. I, that doesn't really need mocked up. I could do that after the car is finished and run that. Uh, the mock-up stage will be done and then I can start really finishing pieces up and getting uh, a little more nerdy on it and, you know, going over fine details like along the top of the visor. There's a lot of like things that are still unfinished, but it'll be done enough to where uh, it'll be like ready for, you know, final sanding and you know certain things are going to get painted and I'll, I'll be ready to disassemble everything which I'm not looking forward to it but uh yeah I got to make sure that everything's perfect and secure before I tear everything back apart so I'm hoping to be done with that by the end of this video this video could go on for like three or four different days out here or it could just be today <laughs> I don't, it depends, I'm, I'm still waiting on parts, so obviously it won't be on this day, but you know, I have to wait like four days after this day for the steering arms to come in. Once the steering's are once the steering arms come in, I can, you get it.
how you do a front end alignment. You need something tall enough to hit the walls so that it's in there tight on the walls. If there's a gap on the walls, then that it's it's not going to be straight, obviously. I mean, common sense here, fellas and ladies. So, got it tight on the wall. And then all you do is you measure there to there. And you have to have the same measurement from there to there. And that means that your wheels are aligned. It's very simple stuff. You don't really need to take your car to the garage. I mean, I don't know about newer cars. I'm not going to... not telling anyone what to do. Don't listen to me. I don't know anything. Uh, but that's how you do a front end alignment on a hot rod and that's good enough for me.